the vaccine works. We have the tools that we need to stop this between vaccines and masks. And the difficulty is one of public relations, basically convincing people to do the right thing, even though it's a step more difficult and annoying than doing the wrong thing. I think CDC is wrong here. And I think it's, um, it's a little bit narrow, too narrow focused on just self-protection whenever so many people are not fully vaccinated. And I think uh, the key things are that the studies show, the CDC's own studies show that masks help, especially if you double mask, because the cloth mask itself is more of a source control, as in the source of the spray of the aerosols, uh, the cloth masks mostly help, but it's not good for inhalation. But if you have double mask, two cloth masks, or a cloth mask and a, sur a regular surgical mask, it makes a huge difference in the reduction of the aerosols inhaled by someone else. And these are CDC's own MMWR studies. So masks definitely work. Um, and of course, premium masks uh, also are even better, whether it's KN95, um, other people call it FFP2, KF94s. And of course, the, the super premium masks, the, the the 3M N95 masks are even better. And studies clearly show that hospitals and healthcare workers who use N95 have much better um, benefits than just one single surgical mask alone. So we, I think the science is really settled around masks. The issue is whether vaccinated people should still wear masks. Now that gets into data on vaccine efficacy. And the vaccine efficacy obviously changes with the different variants. But let's talk about the Delta variant, which is now the dominant more than 50% variant. And this is what's dominating UK, this is what hit India. So I think Delta variant is the variant of our times right now. And I always tell people Delta variant is not like any previous variant we've seen. Delta variant is a 2.0 pandemic variant. It is faster, higher, stronger, uh, in, like in the Olympic terms. It is two times more transmissible than the old, oldest strain, Wuhan 1.0. It's about 50 times more transmissible than the alpha. And uh, in terms of tr uh, severity, it is four times more severe than the original. Four to five. There's another study that says 4.9. Uh, four to, uh, to 4.9 times greater risk of hospitalization than the original strain. Two and a half folds greater hospitalization than the alpha. So basically it's faster, it's more severe, and it's very vaccine evasive. And this vaccine evasiveness is um, the one dose vaccination efficacy. You have to not just focus on the hospitalization. Sometimes people say hospitalization is great. It's 95, 96%. Israel says 93% against Delta variant hospitalization. But it's more that whether you mask is to protect others, right? And half the country is not vaccinated. And in some parts of the country, some states are 30% fully vaccinated. And some counties in the U.S. are less than 20% vaccinated. They're in the teens in terms of fully vaccinated population. Because one dose is not enough. One dose, the efficacy is, by the way, um, like 18% in one study, 30% in another study. It is way too low. Uh, with two doses, the efficacy for AstraZeneca, which the U.S. doesn't use, is about 60%. Uh, but the, even with Pfizer, now you hear Pfizer efficacy is great, 88, 85%. That's for symptomatic. For total, including asymptomatic, your Israel reports 64%, 70%. Uh, UK, uh, Scotland reports 79%. We're, we're talking about numbers in the 70s and as low as 64% for total infection. And we know that vaccinating people can transmit. This is why it's incredibly worrisome because it is very transmissible. It is much more severe. It is one dose vaccine, very evasive. Two dose efficacy is good, but for transmission for total infection, it is not good enough. And it will allow the virus to keep spreading uh, to vulnerable people and children who are not vaccinated. And that's why the, the urgency WHO comes out clearly that vaccinated people still need to mask. Stuff like that. 
Um, I agree with that to faculty uh, as well. I mean, uh, the CDC guidelines, just like anything in government, takes uh, you know it lags behind, and, and I think uh, they try to set out um, recommendations for an entire country. Uh, but as in, as we do in medicine, uh, if we take the entire country as just different patients in different areas, you kind of tailor a little bit your message and your therapeutics based on the patient themselves. You put everyone that has high cholesterol uh, on, on, on a statin, but different people may have different, different levels of statins. The same way here, you know, uh, high, high uh, vaccinated areas, you know, you, you might, might be able to get away with just one mask instead of a double mask, or you may be able to get, to get closer. But the, the entire message is you need to be masked. The masks are the one piece of guidance that actually is quite effective. You'll see people do a lot of things. All the hand sanitizer, the little tiny stupid plexiglass shields that <laughs> the air goes right around and above. All of this stuff and the yeah one way in and one way out of a room, these are much less effective than masking. And with masking, the way I figure it, you are trying to reduce maybe 99 to 100% of the infection. With all of these other measures combined, you are probably chasing between zero and 1% of infection. And frankly, it's puzzling why people do the one thing that doesn't work rather than uh, the thing that does. It is very slow to get back uh, sequencing results. The average time is about five weeks from when a person spits in a tube to when you actually can say it's alpha, it's delta, something like that. And so, again, I very much prefer to err on the side of keeping everybody safe and certain.